welcome you all to part uh, two of the chapter dual nature of radiation and matter the free electrons from metal surface can be removed when a suitable energy is supplied to it the suitable energy may be in the form of a heat electric field or light the next question arises here is that why we need to remove the electron from the metal surface if we provide a particular path to those three electrons it constitutes current because of this reason we are removing electrons from a metal surface the emission of electrons from a metal surface when a light of suitable frequency is incident on it that phenomena is called as photoelectric effect it was first observed by henrich hertz the phenomena of emission of electrons from a metal surface when light of suitable frequency nothing but suitable energy is incident on it this phenomena is called as photoelectric effect this is a metal which consists of free electrons when a light of suitable energy e is equal to h nu means a light of suitable frequency is incident on this metal plate the electrons are emitted from it the electrons which are emitted due to illumination of that light is called as photo electrons the substance which emits electron when a light is illuminated on it that substance is called as photosensitive substance it is sensitive to light this phenomena is called as photoelectric effect now let us understand how actually this concept was discovered it was first observed by henrich hertz let us take that on the side the hertz observation hertz performed an experiment on uh, electromagnetic waves he produced electromagnetic waves in the laboratory he took uh, two metal plates and these metal plates he charged positive and negative with the help of induction coil since large amount of potential is produced a spark was produced in between this small metallic spheres surprisingly even the sparks were produced at the detector loop which was placed apart he explained that this spark was produced due to the spark produced here and there must be something which transferred from this position to this position and he called the mass electromagnetic waves okay this was the experiment performed by hertz and that experiment is called as hertz experiment in that experiment he observed something new one that the sparks which were detected at the detector loop were enhanced when this emitter plate was illuminated by light this was the initiation for the discovery of photoelectric effect during the electromagnetic wave experiment hertz observed that sparks at the detector loop were enhanced already the sparks were produced but it was increased it was enhanced when the emitter plate was illuminated by uv light when emitter plate was illuminated by uv light the sparks which were produced at the detector loop earlier were enhanced this was the observation made by the hertz he just made the observation explanation was not given by him next further the scientists named halvich uh, and lenar they made certain observations these observations let me take in two parts let us go with the first part they took a vacuum tube which is made up of glass now here they took a two plates one plate they charged negatively the other plate they charged positively negatively charged plate let me call it as cathode positively charged plate let me call it as anode this cathode is made up of photosensitive material especially it is made up of uh, cesium we know that the work function of cesium is uh, less compared to others now here let me take this is a photosensitive material and uh, this uh, by which this cathode is made up of and let me illuminate it by a uv light when uv light is illuminated on this cathode plate electrons were emitted and these electrons were exhibited towards anode which is positively charged and hence we can see some current in the emitter now here when uv light falls on the cathode current flows in the circuits right when uv light falls on the cathode current flows in the circuit due to the electrons emitted 
as soon as UV radiation waves stopped, the current flow also stopped. Right? When you stop this UV radiations, there are no electrons which are emitted and uh, current stopped. And this was the first observation made by Halvach and Leonard. Now, let us see the second observation made by Halvach and Leonard. They took negatively charged zinc plate. This plate was illuminated by UV light. It lost its charge and became uncharged. Further, if UV light was again illuminated on the zinc plate, it became positively charged. So, what do you understand by this? Let us check it out. If there is a plate which is negatively charged, when UV light is incident on this, it became uncharged. The meaning of this is it lost negative charge. Means the charged particle which has lost is negative on here. Further, if this uncharged plate is illuminated by UV light, it became positively charged. Means it lost again negatively charged particle. So it became positive. The conclusion from this observation is that the charged particle which are emitted from this zinc plate is negatively charged. When negatively charged zinc plate is illuminated by UV light, it lost its charge. Further, if uncharged zinc plate is illuminated by UV light, it became positively charged. The conclusion is that thus zinc plate emits negatively charged particles when UV light falls on it. When UV light falls on zinc plate, it emits charge which is negatively charged. So this is the conclusion from Hallowitz and Leonard observations. Thank you.